Hello everyone, this is Mark from discoverbusiness.us and in this video today we're going to show you how to use uh, Evernote Web Clipper. Now this video is part of a series on how to study and learn effectively and you can read the full guide at www.discoverbusiness.us slash learning. The link is also below in the description. In this video today on how to use the Evernote Web Clipper we're going to cover three main things. The overview of the Evernote Web Clipper buttons and functions examples of how the Evernote Web Clipper works and how it can save you time, and thirdly, what notes from the Web Clipper look like in your Evernote account. Now, if you have not yet downloaded the Evernote Web Clipper, first start off by going in your browser to evernote.com slash web clipper. You will land on a page that should look similar to this one here. The Web Clipper, just like Evernote, is a free download. Generally, the page should pre-populate with whatever browser you're using. But if it does not, you can easily use the pull down tab to see all the browsers Evernote Web Clipper is compatible with. Today in the video, I'm using Google Chrome web browser on a Mac computer. As always, if you have any specific questions after watching this video, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Now, once the Evernote Web Clipper is installed, generally for most people, it's going to populate a little Evernote elephant icon on the right or left side of your browser. Depending on how you have your browser laid out, if you do not see it here after installing, I would suggest looking at it in your browser view and display options. Now we're going to walk through the Evernote Web Clipper buttons and functions, and then after that we'll go into a few examples on how to use it. So after you click the little elephant, this is what pulls up. First off, right at the top, this is the Evernote title, and generally this is taken from the title of the web page you are on. You do, however, have the option to change this to whatever you prefer, just as you normally would in an Evernote note. As an example, I'll change this note title to something I personally find a little more helpful. As well as there's a small X to the right. You can use this in case you want to cancel and exit out of the web clipper at any time. Next, there's the big green save button, which is pretty obvious. And we're not going to click that just yet. But when we do, it'll sync the new note directly into my Evernote account and across all my devices I use on Evernote. Now below the save button, we have five different and fantastic clip options. Each of these clips the web page slightly differently. Now the first one is called article clipping option, which we are on now. And you can see it's different variations. Then there's the simplified article, which is my personal favorite. And on this page we can see it doesn't look super fancy, um, but it takes out the header, the footer, and any of the sidebar elements. The next option, the full page clipping option, which just takes the whole page on the website and you can see the green outline of where it is clipping. It takes the footer and the header as well as any sidebar information. So with the three above clipping options we just went over, article, simplified article, and full page, once the clip is saved and synced, you can read what you clip on an airplane, in the car, on a train, or even camping. Basically, whenever there's a moment to read, and even if you don't have internet access, you can just pull this up on any of your devices with Evernote, and the web page you clipped will be there to read. Now, the next option, the bookmark clipping option, which captures a little snippet of the article with a link into Evernote. Now, this is great if you're always hooked up to the internet, and you just want a quick reference in your Evernote article. However, if you ever wanted to view this article offline, you won't be able to because when you use the bookmark, it doesn't copy the whole article for you to use later. And lastly, the screen clipping option. We'll come back to this little gem in a few minutes. After selecting the clip option, you can now select how you want to organize this new note inside Evernote. A new notebook I've already created for online news and articles called Future Reads is what I'm gonna to use to save this note to. And I can also add tags if I want to, just as you normally would inside your Evernote account on a note there. And I can also add a remark. Now, once I'm happy with all this, I can go ahead and hit save. Now, once I hit save, there are a few more options that pop up in front of us. First off, the Evernote Web Clipper tells you it's clipped to future reads. It shows us the note title we used, and we could click that title and go straight to the note in Evernote if we wanted to, 
Now, if I happen to want to share what I've clipped on social media or in an email, I can do that right here from the web clipper. Or I can simply just copy the shareable link and use it however I want. The other option with the little clock, if I want to set a reminder to follow up to make sure I've read this by a certain time, I can add that and it will show up with my other reminders in Evernote. And if none of these options are needed on this note, I can go ahead and close out and be done, and the note is saved. So that is a basic overview of how Evernote Web Clipper works. Now we're going to go into a few more practical examples, and you can see firsthand how I use it, and a few not-so-prominent features of the Web Clipper that are really, really cool. Now, for our next example, I'm going to click over to an article I've already opened on lifehacker.com. So I'm going to go over to the little elephant and click the Evernote Web Clipper. The note title again, we can change that. And now the type of clip I'm going to use is the simplified article, which is again my personal favorite. It gets rid of all the footer and header and any of the sidebar information and keeps it really clean. But again, here are the few other options just for reference. So I'm going to save this article to future reads, and I'm going to click Save. And after clicking Save as before, I have multiple ways to share this note I just clipped. I can post it on social media, email it, or copy the link and share it another way. And once I'm done, I can simply close it with the X, knowing that this note is saved to Evernote. Now going on to the next example. This is an article from Inc.com on the top 10 marketing books of all time. And again, I can just save this with the Evernote Web Clipper. The simplified article option gets rid of all the other junk on the sides, and it makes it easy. And I'm going to put this new notebook into future reads. Add a few tags. I can add a remark. And perfect, that looks great. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Now, as an example of scenario, let's say I wanted to read this article before I go on vacation so I have enough time to buy the book before I go away. So I'm going to add a reminder with a little clock so I don't forget to read this. And done. Now the note with the reminder is being synced to my Evernote account as we speak. Now so far these two examples were pretty straightforward and maybe for some of you that's exactly what you expected the Evernote Web Clipper to do. But there's one other feature that's actually one of my favorite that I've saved to the end here to show you. So using this page as an example again, let's say there's something about this page that I really liked and wanted to reference for my team of designers or web developers, whatever. There's something I wanted to capture on this page and use as an example to show them. So I'm going to open up the Evernote Web Clipper, and this time I'm going to change it to Screenshot. Once I do that, I'm given a tool I can use to select the area on the screen that looks like the crosshairs of a gun. I just click down on my mouse or trackpad, then hold and drag it till I'm happy with my selection. Once I'm happy, I release the mouse or trackpad and Evernote clips that section of the screen. Now once the screen is captured, we get this amazing set of other features in the Evernote Web Clipper. And they are quickly going through an image highlighter, shape tool, market tool, crop, zoom in, stamp tool, typing tool, the pixelate or blur tool, I can change the colors, I can zoom in, now with this I happen to want to put this in the workbook called website ideas and brainstorming and I want to tag this with blog ideas and now I'm going to go ahead and do some annotating And using the annotations in Evernote Web Clipper are just as easy as they look. They really are simple and great for marking up a page on the fly. Now here using the blur tool just as an example, 
you can see I can blur out part of the clipping. Maybe it's personal information, maybe it's things that aren't relevant, and I just want to blur them out. And so right now, this is saving right to my Evernote. So I always have this if I want to reference it again. And now I can just go ahead and email this to someone right away. Or if I've already got a message started, I can just take the URL and paste it in the message and reply with that. And now that we've gone through on how to use the Evernote Web Clipper, let's go take a look at what those clips look like in the Evernote app. So I'm going to go ahead and click over and open up Evernote. I'm going to sync the account. So let's go to the first article and see what that looks like in Evernote. You can see the notebook. You can see the tags we added, the reminders up there as well as you get a good example of what the note looks like once it's clipped. And this was the simplified version we clipped here. And with this note, you'll remember that we added a reminder. We see that there at the top of the note, and we also see that in our reminders, depending on how your view is set up. And lastly, the screenshot I clipped and emailed to my coworkers, that's also an Evernote to reference at any time. Well, everyone, I hope this introduction on how to use the Evernote Web Clipper was helpful. Please take a second and like this video. And always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to add them below the video. For more great note-taking and organizing tips, please check out discoverbusiness.us learning, where we cover other note-taking software and learning techniques.